All right, let's talk about GH now. I'll start out by saying this. I'll just go through the whole thing. What the hell? I know it's in my book, but nothing general about it. Um, can I can I just say one uh, yes. for this last thing? When I uh, got the thing that I could go in and audition for General Hospital, and I was, you know, going up for comedy pilots and stuff like that and getting treated like, you know, but I wasn't getting them. Right. I was, I, I wasn't planning, with, you know, but I kind of had a feeling of like, ah, oh, I knew I wanted to work and I knew I needed to work, but it was a little bit of like, has it come to this? Okay. <laughs> because there is a sort of hierarchy or whatever out there, you know. So I, so I looked you up. I've told you this. But yeah, but you can tell it again. I share it because... <laughs> So I looked you up, and here's this really, you know, uh, serious photograph, and I looked at some of your film, I said, boy, that guy has got, you know, energy. <laughs> He's got passion, you know. But the thing that really got me was I saw on IMDb about your work, your being bipolar, yeah, and yeah. bringing that out into the world, yeah. bringing it into the work. Yes. You know, and, and, and that's what, uh, that's what did it for me. And, and, uh, you know, there was a certain amount of smoke blowing about coming in that when I came in, I saw, okay, there's six of the other actors I see at auditions that are all good actors. And, yeah, they were. And there, and there was, you know, a part of me that went, well, uh, you know, I didn't have that. I thought it was more, you know, so, yeah. so I had to do that little talk to just don't get your ego out of the way. And yeah. This opportunity to, to play something. And, you know, and yes, I came in and, and 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 we met, and you know, I just took my time to yes, just look at you, and we connected, and we were alive together. Yes, look, it all started with Frank, who was the executive producer, wow. Frank Valentini. He said, "We're because he he always acts like he always tells me a storyline, and he waits for my reaction." Uh -huh. So if I'm quiet, he knows. <laughs> so he goes, we're going to bring your father in, and he's going to have Alzheimer's, and then you're going to deal with him having Alzheimer's. I said, oh, uh, all right, I like that. That's, I like that. that, that you know. And then um, I started thinking about it. I'm like, oh, I'm, I'll be honest. I, I said, well, if they hire some guy who can't act, this is stupid. And then I have to go in there and act with somebody who can't act. And if they hire somebody who's great, then I have to bear my soul. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, all right. So I went up. And, you know, a lot of times when I have auditioned people, there's a lot of not good ones. And then there's some good ones. But a lot of not good. This session, you guys were all great. And I was like, wow. But then you came in, and there was Frank here and a brighter. I don't know. They were all sitting down. And you came in with your hair all long, and I think you had a beard. You might have had shorts, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> and then you started acting, and I swear to you, my heart hurt. And it wasn't a scene that we were like, you know, emotional or anything, but my heart started hurting. And I'm like, oh no. Then we finished the scene, you gave me a kiss on the forehead and you left. And I remember like going to the wall and I just started bawling. Now who does that? The the lead of a show finishes an audition and he's crying like a baby on the wall. And and Frank and everybody are like <laughs> you all right? And I'm like, ah, oh, man, I don't, I don't know, man. And uh, you know, I, I said to Frank, I said, I don't want to do this fucking story. He goes, well, you're the star of the show, you got to do it. I said, I said, I like the guy that the the guy with the beard, and I left because usually I would sit there and then. They tell me that who they want, and they try to act like they don't want who I want, or you know, and I get upset. <laughs> then I went downstairs and I said to myself, "Well, 
I'll just deal with whatever. Whoever, if 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 you get it, Max, I'll. It's great because we're gonna do great work. If not, then I'm, it's gonna suck, and I won't have to. I won't have to bear my soul. And then you got it. And I remember the first day you came in. It was so much dialogue and pages, and a lot of people who come in from nighttime or movies, they're. Uh, 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 is that, is that it? Can we do another take? No, we're done, man. We're at the fifth take Nobody now. Nobody fell down. <laughs> <laughs> so then you did it, man. And I said, son of a bitch. I said to Frank, he did it. And then I don't think he went up once, maybe once. And I was like, okay, it's going to work. And, you know, uh, what was difficult about the story was that uh, that you reminded me so much of my dad that it wasn't it just didn't become it wasn't acting anymore and it was very uh, real and your your talent and just the way you did I mean I never forget just a little thing and I told you already. And we learned so much about the Alzheimer's, which was great, yes. yeah. right? Yeah. How that, how hard that d disease is, and how you know. But and I'm the, never. And the writing. And the writing. No, no. They were like, they, yes. They were yes. Like to, they had their own experience. And somebody and in all there. The crew. Yes. Like, yes. You know, it was so all that. like we're in this, and I'll never forget. <laughs> this is when I knew the kind of actor you were, because I don't do this, or I've never done it. You were like in a a state of like sleeping or dying. I don't remember quite what it was. And you were acting while you were breathing. Mm -hmm. I I just never. It was like, <sighs> and I was like, what the the dude is acting while he's dying, breathing or whatever. And I was like, wow, I never thought of that one. Because I just, you know, on soaps, you just go like this. Yeah. Well, I, yeah, I, for one thing, I, I've, I've been around that with people who were... Yeah. ...to go, you know, and then there was a little something in the, in the, in the notes, which, of course, we don't always pay attention to, you know. Right. Although in the, in the, in the scene <laughs> the other day that we did, you know, I really liked something that was in the notes was when I put my jacket on. You know, yeah. You stopped shivering. Yeah. And that, you know, when people are freezing and they're going to hypothermia, there's a point where, the, uh, I guess, reported by people who were on their way out, and you know, where they actually stop feeling cold. Yeah, and yeah. You feel really comfortable and dreaming. And sometimes it's what leads people to stop yes. moving yes. or something because they go, oh, I'm just going to go to sleep. You know? Right. And so so I thought that's where the reality you know, of what's going on physically, you know, and, and uh, anyway, without getting hung up on on that, I did, I called a friend of mine who's a, a doctor, and I said, you know, what, what's, what's going on with that breath? He said, well, what happens is that people, uh, you know, they, they want it, they're breathing their last, last breath. Ah. And letting go, except then the body, the automatic thing, <laughs> catches, ah. catches them, and they breathe another breath. And then, you know, so that's what's going on. Wow. So I was trying to just, you know, get that and exhale and, and let go. And there were, there were some other reasons Mike wasn't letting go, you know, but yeah, that, you know, and just let the natural, I can't, I can't, I gotta breathe, you know, but still find a way that it didn't interrupt the dialogue that I, yeah. I could hear. And then wondering how much do people, here, some say the hearing is the last thing to go, even when a person is, is is gone technically, you know, or people who had strokes or been in, you know, where they, I, yes, I remember that, you know. So yeah, I, yeah. Yes, I was, I was actually floating up in the corner of the room, but I saw the whole thing. Happen, right, you know, right. Uh, uh, and where does that mix in with these are the uh, experiences and the, and, and the imaginative parts, you know, who, whose imagination is that? Yeah, so that was, uh, <laughs> so that was, you know, um, that's what I was doing, I guess, to keep from just falling asleep. And <laughs> <laughs>
Sometimes you did fall asleep. It was great. I did, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was great. There were times where that was like, anyway, you were ahead of us somewhere. Right? No, no, I wasn't headed anywhere. So I just, you know, we'll, we'll end this by saying uh, that was a great experience working with you. Two years. Was it two years? I think it was pushing three. Oh, because you were only supposed to come out for like months. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think they do that in a way, so if it doesn't work. I know, I know, I know. Can, everybody can save but, face. You know? Yeah. Uh, um, and we ended up together uh, winning an Emmy because yes, of it. Yes. And, um, but that, but we won the Emmy from not what we did which was the hardest, you know, when I came into you, and like I told you this already, if I had, if they had, if GH had called me a month earlier, there's no way I could have come in and done all that. There's no way. Because that's when I was screwed, that was when I was messed up bad. But they called at the right time. I had about three, two, three weeks to get better. Because, you know, and then we, I come in right into it, right? Uh, uh, we came right into it. You're going to die and the whole thing. And, um, but it was, it's just, it, it truly, you know, I've been there tw almost 28 years. And it's pr it is my one or two, maybe one, best storyline I've ever had. Wow. And it was just special. It's, it's it was a, it was a great ride, and you know we didn't we didn't we didn't talk and hang out a lot. No, then, I mean for one thing, you always have a whole bunch of other stuff. Yeah, there. yeah. And we kind of learned, you know. It, I mean, uh, even at times, hey, you want to go have dinner afterward or something? I think we just let it, yeah. let it be. And but a lot of that for me was I just see the the load you carry in that life. You know, you got your your way, and and I and I had my stuff going on. Yeah, but. But I think that we, um, you know, we were uh, we were authentic with each other. Yeah. And and all the other people who got the Emmy nods and whatever and those who did. I mean, there were others bringing the same stuff to it. Yeah, Laura, Steve, everybody in, in that whole thing was just that we, we you, 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 that's what I like to do with these type of stories. You 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 lift it. And then everybody else will lift it uh -huh. if if they trust you and they, you know, as you know, every actor there knows I have their back. Uh -huh. That's one thing I fought for is yes. is actors' back. The other things I don't care about what you look like, your clothes, who cares? But I have everybody's back, and when we get these stories like this, everybody has to come in and, and do it, and then everything's fantastic. Mm -hmm. I mean, we screw around, you know. <laughs> well, you know that 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 is an interesting, um, you know, thing that uh, not to, you know, we I think we had a great set with Barney Miller, and that everybody had everybody's back, you know. If yeah. Where tried to fire a page or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be there, no, no. no yeah, not, yeah. Not, so we had there was no, you know, that hierarchy and class kind of system. Yeah. Can, can take over, you know, but. Um, uh, I did uh, uh, I did an episode that came up at the last minute of a show that had gotten on, they hadn't been gotten on the air yet but they got picked up it was a pilot I'd actually read for it they brought me in a few times I did called the cool kids who was set in a retirement home and stuff I, I couldn't find a handle on the character it was somebody who covered up his insecurity with a whole lot of braggadocio and bluster and ended up being being played by an actor that was really good at that, but when oh. I try to do that, it just comes off. As yeah, <laughs> yeah, like yeah. I got it. Yeah. Solve all your problems, and uh, uh, but what I remember was the tension on the set that had, you know, hundreds of people in the in the, the shooting night. The, you know, our craft services is coffee, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's there it. it man. Was, you know. Those mountains of <laughs> shrimp and everything, and every 20 minutes it would be whisked away and now it would be, you know, some yeah. other, you know, it was all of that, but and just incredible tension uh, about something that in the, the playing of it was to be funny, you know, but on the, there's a wonderful 
teasing, accepting kind of stuff that goes on uh, uh, with with the actors who have been, you know, you and Steve and others. And yeah. Teasing each other, whether it's about bad, whatever. It whatever is. it is, yeah. It's, it, 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 with Steve, it's his, uh, he looks like The Rock and his blue eyes uh -huh. and he's not a good actor. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. But, uh, but it's, you know, and I think that just watching the show yesterday, I see, well, there's certain storylines that are, you know, I mean, I, I remember Steve and, and uh, who was it, um, Sam, uh, you know, pulling off during the earthquake thing, you know, watching, <laughs> they're really making this work, like, yeah. you know, it's, so this is like a state, you're, you're in the yes. high school auditorium with the stage effects, you know, yeah, yeah. earthquake. But on the other hand, you can get into it if they're into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But some of the others were, as opposed to our, our storyline, which, you know, took people to the extremes of life experience, and at the same time, it's something very, very grounded. That yeah. Touches a lot of people. Yeah. So this is my favorite. So I don't like to do the stunts and the, all that other crazy stuff. I just like to just, the emotion is, but, you know, I mean, sometimes, but right, well, I can't talk about what I'm doing now, but it's kind of interesting because I've never done it before, what I'm doing now. Mm -hmm. And you, and you will see Sonny in kind of a, a different something. I'm that he's just going to be in a different light. Uh -huh. So I like that. I think All right. Nice. So I think we've yeah, talked up yeah, a. Yeah, this, you're going to have to cut it. <laughs> I'm not the soundbite guy. <laughs> uh, I just well, want to say it. it was beautiful talking, hearing all that stuff was fantastic. Um, it was casual, it was real, it was relaxed, and that's the way it should be. Thank give, you. Give my love to your yeah. family. I will. All right. I will. All right. All right. State of mind. Sub subscribe. Hit the button on the bottom.